Welcome to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Feeling a glimpse. If you are a licensed Alaskan commercial fisherman and have been injured on the job, you can submit an application or file a claim to receive benefits through the Alaska Fisherman Funds. The first thing you need to do to ensure your claim will be valid are to report your injury and to get documented medical treatment for it. There are official forms that must be complete by the medical caregivers treating you. The, fiser, the fisherman report of injury or illness and the physician's report of injury or illness. Both you and the physician must complete and submit this form within one year of the medical treatment you receive for your injury. When you submit the form, you must also include the following a copy of your commercial fishing license or limited entry permits. Information about your health insurance and your employer's protection and indemnity deductible. A detailed describe of your injury or illness and how it is related to commercial fishing. Information about where the injury occurred. A permanent mailing address as you can be denied benefits if you do not receive and reply to inquiries. And then next about qualification for coverage. To be covered under this fund, your injury or illness must be directly connected with operation as a commercial fisherman. The fund may deny your claim if it is determined that your injury was not directly related to your work. Example of illnesses and injuries typically covered included hernias, arthritis, varicose veins in the legs, musculoskeletal injuries, bronchitis, and pneumonia. Heart attack are often included and the total allowance for its insurance is $10,000. There are many conditions not covered by the funds and this included the common cold or flu and Clears, cancer, strep throats, insect bites, giardia, smoking-related condition, condition caused by drug or alcohol use, cricket teeth, appendicitis, and salmonella. Chronic conditions aggravated by job duties, but not caused by commercial fishing, may not be covered. Expenses cover include costs for medical treatment, physical therapy, prescriptions, medications, hospital stay, rehabilitation, chiropractic care, and transportation to and, uh, and from medical treatment and doctor visits. Benefit for one person and one injury do not extend beyond one year after the injury and will not exceed $10,000 unless there are compelling reasons to extend compensation. And then next about if your claim is denied. An administrator of the Alaska Fishersman must approve its claim for a fishersman to receive benefits. If you get a result that say that administrator 
cannot approve your claim. It may just mean that the administrator needs more information. It does not necessarily mean that you have been denied benefits. When this happens, further review is needed and a final decision is made by the Fisherman Fund, Advisory and Apples Council at their next meetings. It, it can take up to four weeks to receive a decision from the councils. Within 15 days of a decision that denies you benefit, you may submit a petition of reconsideration. You may also appeal the designations, which must be done within 30 days of receiving the official notice of denial of benefits. Each of these requests must be submitted in writing and signed by the fisherman making the claim. It must go to the official of the commissioner of the Department of Labor and Workplace within the possible time period on the decision will be made final. If you want to make a claim to the Alaska Fisherman's Fund, keep in mind that it is designed to be a source of last resort for compensation for medical care. You will be expected to have exhausted other resources first, including health insurance and public program before applying for compensation. If you need assistance deciding whether or not you can make a claim or going through the process of applying or appealing. And the next of the deeds and the high seas X. If you have lost a lover's one at the sea and the cause of this was negligence, defaults, or a wrongful act, you may be entitled to personary demand stroke the deed on the Hexis X or D O H C A. The X passed in 1920 as a way to provide compensation for families of seamen kills on the job while out the sea. Being out to sea is always risk, and when there is negligence of defaults of some kind involved, it increases the risk even more. If you love one deeds in this way, know your rights and rely on an experienced maritime lawyer to help you make a claims. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget give like, comment, and subscribe.